You don't necessarily need its spectacular setting to create great outdoor portraits. With the right techniques and flattering natural light, you can achieve great results almost anywhere. When you're looking for a good spot for an outdoor portrait, there are a few reliable tricks you can try. Look for natural frames in the scenery around you and position your subject to make the most of them. And try to find colours that complement the model's skin tone or clothing. Before you press the shutter release, check the background to make sure there are no tree branches or lampposts in the background that appear to grow out of your model's head. To keep proportions correct when shooting a full-length portrait, hold the camera at the same height as your subject's waistline. Simplicity is often the key to a good portrait, and one way to simplify things when shooting outdoors is to blur the background. You can achieve this by using a large aperture on the lens such as f2 so that the background becomes more blurred for a more appealing portrait. You can also emphasise the blur by using a longer focal length, so it might help to take a few steps backwards and then zoom in. You can also move your model further away from the background to further strengthen the blur. Ask your subject to stand close to a wall or foliage, then use a long lens, a large aperture and selective focusing to separate the model from the soft background and foreground. The quality of the light obviously makes a big difference to the look of your outdoor portrait. Overcast conditions are perfect, as the soft light means there will be no harsh shadows. In bright conditions, use a reflector to lighten the shadows on a person's face. Consider the model's skin tone when choosing a reflector colour. Here, a soft gold reflector adds subtle warmth that complements our model's features. In direct sunlight, try to find a spot in the shade of a tree or a building, as the light is softer and kinder to face it. If the background is more brightly lit than the person in the foreground, the contrast may be too high to record detail in both. To fix this, set your exposure for the background so the person is in silhouette and use fill flash to illuminate your model. To soften and spread the light from the flash, bounce it against a wall. Here, I'm bouncing it from the ceiling of a balcony, but a reflector held over the camera could also be used for this purpose. In very bright conditions, you may need to activate the high-speed sync option to avoid exposure errors. So, whether you're making the most of the natural light or using flash, with a few simple techniques, anyone can take fantastic outdoor portraits.